Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and today we're going to be playing Kingdom of the Wind. Now this is a phone MMO, and it is a different language game, which we haven't done in a while. So we're going to be trying it out and seeing how it is. Seeing if we can get through most of the game, and showing around a few... Well, a little bit of the gameplay, if anything. If I can't figure out every single thing, like always, I'll just show you guys the gameplay and not try to like go too far into like explaining what things do, just because... Like I said, these are different languages. I don't know, like, a lot of what's going on when it comes to, like, um, text-wise. Okay. So we got ourselves a rope. <laughs> Whoa. Liking a rogue already. <laughs> Next we got a priest. Yeah, it seems like we got ourselves an ice mage here. From what I see right here. Or either just normal mage. We got ourselves the warrior. I'm gonna go with the assassin. Let's see what the females look like. Okay, I'm gonna go with the assassin. Or rogue. You, oh, you can change your profile of what you want it to look like. I want this intense face right here. <laughs> okay, so you can change the hair to a little bit of uh, different things. Nothing like extremely major. That's a plus so far. I think I'm going to keep this one. Next, you can change the color of your hair. I'm going to go with this. Alright, so you have six choices between your eyes also. You can change your eye color. I think I'm going to go with the green. And their voices. And there we go. God, I didn't really take all that long just to get through the customization. Maybe just because there's not like a whole bunch of in-depth stuff, which you you really don't see now and then when it comes to like games like this. You don't have like intense customization, especially when it comes to mobile. Okay. It's a nice map though. Oh my god, grass pigs. Oh, rip those poor pigs, man. What did they ever do to you? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna skip that. So you can either use the pad or you can actually click to where you want to go. Out of here, pigs. These guys over here soloing a whole bunch of skeletons with a cro with like a bow. That man is a savage. <laughs> oh, all right, pretty dope. <laughs> How much you want to bet this is just like the opening trailer and everything, and they're just gonna. Take all this away from us. Oh, well, rip. <laughs> I feel like I actually want to add in my keyboard. Alright, what is going on? Why not? I just add in my uh, directional pad. We'll play with that. 
But I gotta say, so far it's pretty impressive. <laughs> I like the graphics, I like the uh, little bit of the playstyle so far. Okay, I think it's gonna be one of the clunky ones. Nah, okay, never mind. I think it's gonna be good. We're good. Ah, a little bit of lag though. Jeez, dude, go down already. We have a card. What is this? So the second one is this. So is this technically gear? Ah, so I'm guessing you're putting the card in there and it gives you stats. So I'm guessing this is HP and this is defense, considering the scaling. All right. Oh my god, we have a log too. See, if this game has a lot of animations like this, then I'm behind it. <laughs> if it's like through the whole game and not just through the tutorial, which a lot of games usually do make this tutorial really tempting, only to take it away. Ah, pretty sick. Alright, he's out. Let's keep going. Yeah, the acorn has our loading screen too. <laughs> okay, that's something I don't like to see. Is random text going across your screen, especially in the middle of your cutscene. I don't like that in any game. To be honest, not even when I'm playing. That just ruins the whole scene for me. That's a sick monster, though. Definitely like the way it looks, but still. Alright, so we have like these little diamonds above our head. Those are for certain skills. Okay. Pretty straightforward mechanic. Now I got possessed. I want to guess that's his brother. And somebody drew a penis across the screen. Great! <laughs> I'm just gonna say now that's a really dumb choice to have these during your um scenes. That should be removed. You're just ruining the immersion of all the players who come in. I mean, thankfully it's not when I'm playing, but still. You're just ruining my cutscenes and my enjoyment. Alright. Anywho. Okay, so it has the whole power scaling um, score. Power score. That's what it is. I was saying, I'm clicking on her. Why can I... Okay, there we go. I guess it was just like a certain way I was clicking on it. Okay, so I don't think there's auto. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't think there's auto. Because that just showed up the map and what locations it could be in. So I was like, getting pretty happy. <laughs> because auto questing is kind of like meh.
Yeah, pretty easy to kite enemies so far. Alright, let's talk to her. There you go. Wait, can you finish the quest anywhere? Oh, it auto targets too. At least it is an auto combat. That I can get behind. I was trying to turn off my map, but all right. <laughs> okay, so I can hold it down. I don't have to, like... Wait, can I hold it down? Okay, yeah, I can. To say this guy keeps moving. Every time he moves, he resets his HP, which I don't like. There we go. Wait, what? Let's say, how did you not die? <laughs> I have a lot of questions on that, but all right. Oh, look at that big thing. No, where'd it go? I wanted to fight it. <laughs> uh, I'm sad now. <laughs> Alright, let's get going. Alright, so apparently we're going into a new area, from what I see. Here we go again. Is there a way to turn off these messages? There we go. Why is there even an option for that? That's a real question. <laughs> There's also no dodge button from what I know. So rolling is pretty much out of the question. So this is glove. And this is weapon. this oh that is that like oh leaving your own message that's what that is yeah let's not oh you can pause and play at any time okay that's actually pretty dope oh god oh so you have this guy Oh, you transform into it. Oh, dude, that's actually pretty dope. So any card you get, you can transform into. Oh, God, no. Yeah, run, all, run them all over. <laughs> That's actually pretty neat.
Yeah, nobody thought about that when they punched him. So I gotta keep turning this off every time. Ah, uh, well, you almost had it. Oh, Team Rock is blasting off again. Alright, so how do I transform back? That's the real question. <laughs> I guess it's like a time limit. I want to guess. But to be honest, I thought he was just going to heal me and just fight by my side a little bit. But no, I actually transform into him. Alright, neat. Oh, so the card I got from him is like a little tornado. Okay. So the cards are actually like a little bit of bonus stats and um, abilities that I can put up at the top here. So I can carry up to two, maybe three. Okay, what's this? Okay, this looks like login rewards. Login for the week. In my personal opinion, this is probably one of the coolest uh, mobile MMOs I've played. I would definitely play a lot if there was an English release for sure. My god, I'm winning the race. Looks like he's heading to the same direction I'm going. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Here you go, buddy. Kind of reminds me of a little bit of a uh... Oh god. I wanted to say of Twin Saga a little bit. But then again. X Legend is just like half of like anime cartoonish um, MMOs. Oh, that teleport. Guys, don't stare at it. Run. Whoa, I was about to say. Eat my circle roll. Ha, ah, nice try. <laughs> oh wow, that goes on a cooldown for a long ass time now that I see it. Just went on a cooldown for the whole 300 seconds thing. That a lot of games used to do. Apparently still do. I'll be, on, I'll be okay if it went down on a cooldown for like at least a minute. <laughs> For some reason, I regret taking white hair, just because now I look like part of their family. <laughs> All right. Well, the most of the reason I took the white hair is just because uh, Belle from um, Is It Wrong to Pick Up Girls in the Dungeon. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a lot of people have seen that anime by now. If you haven't, then you probably should. Just saying. So what's this? 
Oh, is this like a little mount? No, this is a mount. Okay. I was curious what this was for a while. Do we have a book here? Oh, so here's our skills. Alright, so we have a skill book now that we can look at at any time, pretty much. So we have up to three skills that we can power up and change. Oh, actually, nope, it looks like we have up to five skills. Where would those five skills go, though? I mean, we can only carry this many. Okay, so that's just like a cleave. Oh no, it's a spin, okay. Couldn't see it well there, right there then. Kind of sucks that you gotta come in here and manually put on your mount every time. I'm not gonna lie to you, I just push M just to see if... <laughs> just to see if I can bring up my map. <laughs> oh dear god, no. I cannot believe I just went for that. Alright, while well, we're on the way there. Seems like they have a lot of stuff locked behind level as well. I want to guess that these are dungeons, but then again, I don't think so. Maybe this is just like... Okay, no, this is a town. Duh. Oh, did I? Okay, I already made it. Oh wow, that's actually a really strong spin attack. Oh, and I think it gives HP as well. If it shows me the radius of how far they reach and what direction I'm going in. Oh, I can aim it of what direction I want to go in, too. Nice! I can even aim where I want this to go, but it's... Oh, okay, never mind. It has to be within the circle. Neat! This one doesn't do the same. <laughs> Don't do this to yourself. Stop it. So, what does this do? Anywho. What's this? Oh, okay, so I have mail. And with a whole bunch of rewards. Pretty much a starter pack. Okay, so that was just asking me if I wanted to give them a good review. I mean, I will if you guys bring it to um, a global release. Oh my god. You get that scene when you uh, change your clothes? I like it. <laughs> How much would I bet I'm getting hit in the background? <laughs> I am. <laughs> Get back my HP. How dare you. I didn't know I was getting attacked in the freaking background. All I heard was just the random noise going over and over. Alright, so what else do we have in here? Have more of those. Wow, what happened to the music? So I'm guessing there's cars we can buy. <laughs> there is. There's summoning tickets for clothes. What am I, what am I gonna get? Oh, well, it's not only for clothes then. Feels bad, dude. Oh, there's ones for wings and stuff, too. You can buy stuff out of shop.
much would that cost? You know what? Let's do one. Nothing. Just a whole bunch of materials. Feels mad. Alright. So here... Okay, so this is a dungeon. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do this, then we're gonna wrap up, you know. Alright, let's go. So I have a form of life skill, thankfully. Which helps me survive pretty long. So I have a way of sustaining myself. I'll probably have a potion around here somewhere. I'm just trying to click everything and see what it does. So far, so good. Oh god, I stepped into it. <laughs> Alright, he's dead. Ooh, treasure, loot. Are you going to throw me into the next instance, or is it just going to be like, hey, you can only do them one at a time? Alright, one at a time is basically how that's going to go. So now I could jump into the rest of them and get gears out of that as well. Alright, so we've got stuff for pants and other stuff too. Let's change that. So now we have... Oh. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if that does like burn damage. If it does, then yeah, I'll keep it. I want to increase this just for a sustain. Personally. want to see... Yeah, increase the hill a little bit. I don't know about increasing my dash at that point. Really, there's something else here I'm missing. I can't uh, scroll down or anything like that. So I'm guessing it's this. I know so we're going to end after that, but you know what? Let's, let's just do one more. <laughs> I'm kind of addicted. But yeah, if this gets a global release, I'm definitely playing it, hands down. Because it actually seems like a lot of fun. It's been a while since I've been playing MMOs. Okay, so now I'm allowed to move around. How much you want to bet this is a dungeon that's going to wreck me? I can just fill it. Okay, nah. They're sustainable to damage. Get out of here, dude. So far, so good. Where's my next enemies? My next suckers. Ow.
How did she hit me off that? Jesus Christ. Oh, those guys are healing her. Okay, so they have mechanics like that. Noted. That's good to know. I just want to know how you how do you heal? Cause it doesn't seem like they have any. Oh god. My sound just freaking exploded. So I'm kind of playing it safer right now. Because it seems like she travels to the last known location of you. Let me go ahead and make sure to get some HP out of this. Got her. All right, there we go. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I don't see any like um, healing stuff I can do yet. But I, I managed to sustain myself off my uh, attack. If I didn't do that, I definitely would have died. <laughs> yeah, replace it. Oh, they actually changed colors too. Neat. Very, very neat. I can definitely praise this game for what it's doing right now. So, one of my first impressions off this game. So far, it can actually turn out to be a really good global release, considering the fact that it is not just, like, full-on auto. It's like any other, like, actual MMO to where you just walk around and stuff like that and actually do your own combat instead of just having an auto button that you push and just let it go at it which I'm sure there probably would be what's this okay so that's just my quick mount that's what it is oh god an egg I'm gonna take the green which I'm pretty sure is probably the pig <laughs> so that hatches in like five minutes so yeah, now I have a quick mount. You can actually push that. So I've been through most of the quests that I can actually look at. And from what I see, it's definitely easy to learn. Uh, this is probably the mail, right? Or the news. Yeah, it looks like the news page. So you can go in there and look at that. Um... I'm guessing this is your friend list and your mail, basically. <sighs> Alright, pretty straightforward. So, with that said, guys, I'm going to end it here. And you guys can try it out yourselves by downloading the Q app, which is QOO app. That gives you access to a lot of like different language games that you can't normally play on the side like the Eastern or Western side. So yeah, that definitely helps out a lot when trying to discover some new games that could potentially become global, which I am do hoping and really hoping that this game becomes like a global release because this can actually be like a really good mode to get into with friends. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys on the next one.
チュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュチュ